Shout out to Becky Vanderdeen for sending me this story. I will leave the link in the description. Well, it seems for Steve Harvey, the hits just keep on coming to him. 2017 is just shaping up not to be his best year ever. The biggest highlight for him was hosting the Miss Universe pageant that recently passed. But that's probably his biggest highlight. As we all know, a couple months ago, it was pretty much revealed that the ratings for his show have dwindled. And rightfully so. His karma for what he did from his previous show in Chicago. And the letting his folks go also was going on with his radio show that we now know he no longer fully owns. And the ratings going down with that. He pretty much has no ownership of anything that he does. He's just the face. Then, of course, with him meeting Donald Trump earlier this year, after his wife planned a birthday celebration for him, and he turned that down to go meet with Donald Trump for 20 minutes. Well, now we can add something else to this. According to this article that was sent to me, Steve Harvey is being sued for $2 million for a charity fundraiser that he is accused of defrauding $2 million from. And you're wondering why I have a picture of Steve Harvey with both Oprah and Tyler Perry because they fit into this story. Why, you may ask? Because Steve Harvey is accusing both of them for giving him bad financial advice as to what led him to being caught up in this lawsuit of defrauding $2 million from a charity. Now, it's interesting that he went to two black people who probably have a, well, not probably, but they do, have a lot of wealth to their name. Now, I know a lot of people are not fans of Tyler Perry or Oprah Winfrey Hell. It's people that's not a fan of all three of the people in this picture. But it's interesting that the first two people he went to accuse of giving him bad financial advice were the two people who aren't really suffering financially. Very interesting, right? Now, we all know that he went to go meet with 45 earlier this year. But we never knew what exactly they talked about. We never knew what the conversation was about. We'll, and we'll probably never find out. Now, what if he was getting financial advice from 45? I would believe that he would be the one that would have gave Steve Harvey bad financial advice before I believe it came from Oprah or Tyler Perry, to be quite honest. Because Oprah and Tyler Perry's net worth are bigger than Steve Harvey's. So why would they give him bad financial advice? Hell, Oprah's uh, net worth is probably closing in or probably surpassed 45's. At one point, you could say, okay, maybe if he did get financial advice from 45, then I could see that. But not now. I don't think his net worth um, really matches or is completely accurate to what they say it is. But basically, this is a charity foundation um, that him and his wife Marjorie, and then you got us when he, when her name got mentioned, you got a side eye of that too because she has a excuse me, she has a bit of a shady past herself. But he's being sued by this person named Vincent Dim Dimick or Demock, and it says who claims he was hired to raise twenty million dollars for Steve Harvey's charity, and he said that he delivered the first one million dollars, and Steve Harvey never paid him. He said he was owed 12.5% of whatever he bought in, in total of $2.7 million, only almost $3 million, and he never got it. And then that's when he came out and said that he blamed, <coughs> excuse me, Oprah and Tyler Perry for giving bad financial advice. Now, Steve Harvey, you supposed to know this business, right? I mean, you've been in the business a very long time. And now it seems like you're acting like an amateur. 
makes you wonder, did you ever really know business as well as you claim to have or well, as well as you thought you did? I'm trying to see what else can I pull from this article. He says, and when I say he says this, Vincent guy says that Steve Harvey never intended to pay him at all. So basically, this guy was running around there being a volunteer instead of getting paid for his services. Even after he was pretty much promised that he was supposed to be getting paid. I hope he has this in writing. Like in a contract or something. Because a verbal agreement don't mean shit. A lot of people say... A lot of people say, oh, I'm going to pay you this much. I'm going to pay you that much. And they never see a dime. And then when it goes to court, they say, can you prove that this is what they said? If you don't have anything written, that that judge is going to laugh you out the courtroom and they're going to close the case. And you'll leave with nothing. The same thing you came in with nothing. So I hope he had it in writing. And I'm very sure he did. It says that Vincent... DeMock also claimed he introduced Harvey to an investor in May and says that during the meeting he disparaged women and took aim at celebrities for his financial issues. Now, that's interesting if that's true when he said he disparaged women, considering women are a huge part of his base, especially when it came to those Think Like a Man movies in that book. Um, it says he, uh, he said also that Steve Harvey blamed Barack Obama for Steve Harvey's disastrous meeting with Donald Trump. Who knew that by the time, if I, if I didn't keep scrolling through this article, I wouldn't have seen that. But that, uh, that too also doesn't surprise me. So it seems to me that Steve Harvey has this blame a black person mentality that a lot of white people love to use. But you know what? Us in the black community who can see through the smoke and mirrors have been done with this Mr. Potato Head looking motherfucker right here. We've been done with him. He has shown all of his faces. Each one different than the last. But hopefully now the world can see it. Especially those in black society. 